morning, students, faculty, and family. My name is Bryce Cooper, and today I'll be talking to you about discovering your talents. But before I can start, can anybody tell me what a talent is? Yes. Uh, yes, those are all great answers. My definition of a talent is any natural skill that is gained through experience. The first step is to become open-minded, which means you're willing to try new activities even if you've never heard of it before. But if you won't try new activities, then you most definitely won't find your talents. Now you may be asking, Bryce, what kind of talents have you discovered? All these talents may not be the ones I still have now, but I've tried archery, playing the bass, rapping, and of course, running track, but I have many more. Now track has a special place in my heart because I like to run, and there's no doubt about that. I've been running track since I was three years old, and my first event I ran was the 400 meter run. And during the race, a kid fell behind me, so I went to help him up, and we finished the race together. Since then, I have made a lot of improvement. And to show that improvement, I have this video of me at the Junior Olympics this past summer running the 1500, which is a three and three quarter lap race around the track. Jesse Strickland sitting fourth in the standings. So far, still in command of this race. Chase pack of five, not quite letting go altogether. This is gonna make it for a very interesting match with two laps to go. Coming up on 800 meters, Jesse Strickland. 230 unofficially. Followed by Bryce Cooper, hip number seven. Cooper sitting 10th thus far, trying to make top eight in All-American. Right with him, that's Gary Moore Jr., our current leader. Back up front is still Jesse Strickland, currently fourth overall in the standings. Looking strong as he comes up the home stretch. Vaughn Devon, the third, who's seventh in the standings. 335 at the bell. Devon and Moore running second and third. Hitting 1,200 meters now in 356. Jesse Strickland followed by Bryce Cooper. Gary Moore Jr. meters to go it's Strickland Cooper and more <laughs> 150 to go challenging Strickland off the bend now that's Bryce Cooper and here he goes Cooper as we said in 10th Top eight All-Americans trying to make a difference here in the 1500. Cooper, four, 50, 68. Strickland up for second in 455, 79. With a big finish, that's Maxwell Duran in third, 501, 56.
followed by Gary Moore Jr. in 503-63. And we'll bring you the overall results once we receive... As you may have heard from the announcer, I ran a 450, and I don't know if you can tell, but that's a pretty good time. That event was a part of the bigger event, the pentathlon. The pentathlon is a five-part event that consists of the 100-meter hurdles, long jump, shot put, high jump, and of course, the 1,500-meter run. This was an event I've tried just for the fun of it, and I've ended up doing well and having fun. But I would never have thought I would get that far if I didn't take that moment to think, Hmm, yeah, maybe I will try this. However, when you try new things, the activities you try won't always be what you'll end up doing for the rest of your life. For instance, I tried playing the violin, which, is a very loud, which was very loud and annoying to my family and takes a lot of practice to sound good. I don't even know how they survived because they could barely put up with me playing one note. Although, this is the same with any other instrument. I'll, uh, also, I tried to make a YouTube channel where my first video was making butternut squash as a play on words, but this is a fair warning. It is very cringy. Yeah, that was the first round, and look at my hands. Look at all that butter. Look at this hammer. Just bought some paper towels. I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, back with a couple of paper towels. I think I'm gonna call the sledgehammer Samantha. And I'll be right back with a clean sludge here. For clean Samantha. <laughs> we are just going to move on from that. <laughs> just keep in mind anything you try now may not always be what you'll end up with. But don't let me tell you that stop you from what you are compassionate about right now. If you don't like something now, as an adult, that could be what your profession will be. Anyways, talents can be hidden or personal. Making someone's day. Being able to put a smile on somebody's face. Having courage. Go Greeks. And, of, and using huge amounts of courage, huge amounts of imagination throughout your day. I would say those are talents, wouldn't you? Not everyone has these traits. Be yourself, it's a right to be different. It makes you more unique, and there's nothing wrong with that. Not, not too long ago, my friend Dylan had his chapel in being yourself. He talks about expressing the way you feel by being yourself is okay, as long as you stay true to yourself. You could say I'm a pretty goofy and creative guy, and I use these traits of mine to become a one-of-a-kind person every day. Maybe you're having some trouble finding a new hobby to start. Another way to find your talent is to use a role model to help bring out a new hobby. Would anybody like to share who their role model is? Anyone else? Yes, those are all good answers. 
Role models can also be family members, friends, teachers, celebrities, or even your pet. One of mine was, and still is, Usain Bolt. If you don't know who he is, Usain Bolt is a man from Jamaica that ran in the Olympics and blew everyone out in the 100 meter dash and in the 200 meter dash. Sometimes he didn't even try his hardest at the end, which made me want to become the fastest man alive more than I already wanted to. You can also draw inspiration from your role model. When I play the bass, I use riffs and improvisational patterns by Flea from the Red Hot Chili Peppers or from Jermaine Jackson from the Jackson 5 or the Jacksons to create my own unique style while I play. Maybe you like Taylor Swift, then you would like to sing. Or you like Samuel L. Jackson, and you would like to become an actor. You can use your role models to help narrow down a field that you would be interested in trying. Finally, hard work is the most important thing to keep in mind. I can guarantee you that every successful person you see today had to work hard to, where they are to, to get where they are today. Not to mention that they also had to make sacrifices and had to try over and over again. Going back to the 1500, I too had to work very hard to get there and had to make many sacrifices. But it paid off in the end because prior to the race, I was in 10th. But my first place finish bumped me up to earn the seventh place medal and I became an All-American. So in order to... Oh. So in order to find your talents, look at your passions, what you believe in, and whoever you look up to, to find your next hobby you would like to try. Maybe you'll be the next Pablo Picasso, or the first human to visit Jupiter, but you won't know until you try. Thank you for listening. Have a great rest of your day, and may the fourth be with you.